my friends in uh, Washington, I wish I could be talking with you about something a little lighter than getting together to remember Peter. Peter is very much alive for me as he is. I'm Linda Dittmar from Boston and I'm the moderator of the film club in Boston and also have known Peter for some 30 years almost. Um, originally because he was uh, the group leader, the, the uh, guide for an NH seminar that I took with him in, in uh, New York at NYU, as did uh, Diane Carson, who is a moderator from um, St. Louis. And I just wanted to really recapture some of my memories from that period in particular, when for eight weeks, uh, we all, 12 of us and Peter, worked together, meeting several times a week uh, to, to study film theory and film studies. And I might add that at that period, all of us were faculty and had not had official training in film studies. So working with Peter was immensely important and funny, clever, uh, one of us uh, had to start drinking um, carrot juice because the uh, intensity of watching films several times a week. We uh, had a little feminist rebellion during that period of time because we raised some questions of what feminist film theory was doing. And Peter was so fantastic in being open, in uh, hearing us, telling us to cool our jets a little bit if needed, uh, thinking about what we are asking for and finding our way through it. Um, he, I remember fondly going with him to see a film called The Hills Have Eyes or something like that uh, by Wes Craven, which was a cult horror film. And uh, I kind of raised my eyebrows and asked, well, what on earth are we doing with that one? And again, he, he made a joke about it and said, well, maybe I should go see Mary Poppins, which is definitely not my cup of tea normally. Um, but I'm just remembering his incredible appetite for seeing the films, talking about them, arguing about them, being very, very incredibly open and funny and warm. I'm sure that things along those lines will be said by many other people now as we are remembering Peter. Uh, I'm also remembering ways in which he contributed very passionately to the Society for Cinema Studies in trying to um, encourage uh, attention to translation of film theory classics that don't exist in English into English. He also pioneered an approach to film studies that connected it to deconstruction and Derrida's work, which most people in film studies were not going in that direction. Most were doing psychoanalysis. So, you know, Peter was a very courageous guy, you know, and he did everything so casually that one wouldn't really think about the courage that it took for him to just jump into the things that he was doing and um, do it wholeheartedly, body and soul, uh, with wonderful sessions, drinking beer and laughing and joking afterwards. Uh, for me, this is really unique, the way he knew how to roll with the punches, to, to, to laugh, to love. Uh, everything he did with us was a gift of love in its own way. And he's very much alive for me now. That is Peter and always will be Peter.